Planning a trip to Portugal? Want to know the top 10 things to do? Welcome to our journey through the enchanting landscapes, vibrant cities, and rich history of this captivating country. Prepare to be dazzled by the architectural marvels, bewitched by the natural beauty, and tantalized by the unique flavors of Portugal. From iconic landmarks to hidden gems, we're about to reveal the must-see spots that make Portugal a destination like no other. So buckle up as we count down the top 10 must-see spots in Portugal. Kicking off our list at number 10 is the Belém Tower. This charming, fortified tower stands tall on the northern bank of the Tagus River in Lisbon. Erected during the height of the Portuguese Renaissance, it has since become a symbol of the Age of Discovery. The Belém Tower, or Torre de Belém as it's known locally, has held a significant role in Portugal's history, serving as a fortress, a customs checkpoint, and a telegraph station. Today, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site that attracts visitors from around the globe. Its intricate architectural details and stunning views of the river make it a must-visit. The tower's rich history, coupled with the beautiful surroundings, provide a unique insight into the country's past. So, whether you're a history buff, an architecture enthusiast, or simply in search of a great view, the Belém Tower is sure to captivate you. A trip to Portugal wouldn't be complete without a visit to this historic tower. Coming in at number 9, we have the Douro Valley. Picture this, a panorama of rolling hills blanketed with lush vineyards stretching as far as the eye can see. This is the Douro Valley, a picture-perfect wine region that's as charming as it is productive. The valley is known for its port wine, an iconic Portuguese export that has put the region on the global map. But it's not just about the wine. The Douro Valley is a symphony of nature's best elements. The Douro River snaking through, the terraced vineyards, the quaint quintas or wine estates, all working in harmony to create a landscape that's nothing short of breathtaking. Now, imagine exploring this scenic wonderland on a wine-tasting tour. You're sipping on a vintage port, the sunlight is casting a golden hue over the vineyards, and you're surrounded by an awe-inspiring landscape. It's not just a wine tour, it's an experience, a memory, a story to tell. The Douro Valley offers an unforgettable wine experience. At number 8, we have the beautiful Algarve. This sun-drenched southernmost region of Portugal is a dream come true for any beach lover. The Algarve boasts over a hundred miles of coastline adorned with golden sands, secluded coves, and stunning cliffs that plunge into the clear blue waters of the Atlantic. But the Algarve is not just about the beaches. This region is a melting pot of history and culture, with charming old towns and villages steeped in tradition. And let's not forget the food. Seafood lovers will be in heaven here, with restaurants serving up dishes fresh from the ocean. From succulent prawns to the famous Cataplana stew, the Algarve seafood is as fresh as it gets. For those who prefer to be active, the Algarve offers an array of water sports, golf courses, and hiking trails. Whether you're looking for relaxation or adventure, the Algarve has it all. For a relaxing beach holiday, the Algarve is a must. At number 7, we have the Livraria Lelo. This enchanting bookstore nestled in the heart of Porto is a gem that's not to be missed. Dating back to 1881, the Livraria Lelo is a testament to a bygone era a place where literature and architecture intertwine in a stunning dance of beauty and history. As you step inside, you're greeted with a breathtaking sight. The bookstore's neo-Gothic facade gives way to a dreamlike interior, complete with a curvaceous staircase that seems to float in midair, and a stained glass ceiling bathing the store in a soft, ethereal light. But it's not just about the architecture. The Livraria Lello boasts an extensive collection of books, catering to a diverse range of interests, from contemporary bestsellers to classic literature and academic texts, there's something for everyone. And here's a fun fact for you. This bookstore was a source of inspiration for J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series. For book lovers, the Livraria Lello is a dream come true. Coming in at number six is the Pina Palace. This architectural marvel is perched atop the Sintra Mountains, a scenic spot that offers panoramic views of Portugal's breathtaking landscape. The Pina Palace is a testament to Portugal's rich history and vibrant culture, with its architectural style blending elements of Gothic, Renaissance, and Manueline designs. The palace was built in the 19th century, under the vision of King Ferdinand II, who sought to create a summer residence for the royal family that echoed the grandeur of an opera. As you wander the palace's exquisitely decorated rooms, you'll be transported back in time, awed by the opulence of a bygone era. 
But the palace isn't just about the interiors. The surrounding Pena Park, with its exotic trees and ferns, offers a tranquil escape from the bustle of modern life. A visit to the Pena Palace is a journey through time, a celebration of architectural brilliance, and a chance to immerse oneself in the beauty of nature. The Pena Palace offers a glimpse into Portugal's rich history. At number 5, we have the Oceanario de Lisboa. This is not your typical aquarium, it's a deep dive into the world's oceans, where you'll encounter a staggering array of marine life. From the vibrant coral reefs to the shadowy depths of the Atlantic, each ecosystem is recreated with astonishing detail. Imagine coming face to face with a school of shimmering fish or observing the graceful dance of a manta ray. But it's not just about the spectacle. The Oceanario de Lisboa is also dedicated to education and conservation. Here, you can learn about the vital role that oceans play in our planet's health and discover what you can do to help protect them. It's a place that sparks curiosity and fosters a sense of responsibility towards our planet, making it an ideal destination for families. For a fun and educational experience, the Oceanario de Lisboa is a must visit. So, are you ready to take the plunge and explore the underwater world of the Oceanario de Lisboa? At number four, we have the Geronimo's Monastery. This magnificent structure, standing tall in the heart of Lisbon, is a testament to Portugal's rich history and heritage. Constructed in the late 15th century, it's a prime example of Manueline architecture, a unique Portuguese style that blends Gothic, Renaissance, and Moorish influences. The monastery was built to commemorate Vasco da Gama's successful voyage to India, a pivotal moment in Portugal's age of discovery. As you walk through its grand hallways, you'll be surrounded by intricate stone carvings and stunning stained glass windows that narrate tales of exploration and faith. The monastery also houses the tombs of several prominent figures, including da Gama himself and the renowned poet Luís de Camus. These historical markers remind us of the monastery's significant role in Portuguese culture and history. A trip to the Geronimos Monastery is like stepping back in time. It's more than just a monument, it's a living, breathing chronicle of Portugal's glorious past. Coming in at number three is the Sintra Cascais Natural Park. This gem of Portugal stretches over a vast landscape that is as diverse as it is beautiful. From the dramatic cliffs of Cabo de Roca, mainland Europe's westernmost point, to the dense forests that blanket the Sintra Mountains, the park is a cornucopia of natural wonders. It's not just the scenery that will captivate you, the park is also home to a variety of wildlife. Keep your eyes peeled for foxes, badgers, and over 200 species of birds. If you're lucky, you might even spot the elusive Iberian lynx. For those with an adventurous spirit, the park offers numerous hiking trails. You can wander through the verdant woodlands, hike up the rugged mountains, or stroll along the windswept coastline. Each trail offers a unique perspective on the park's beauty and biodiversity. For nature lovers, the Sintra Cascais Natural Park is a must. At number two, we have the São Jorge Castle. This majestic fortress, perched atop the highest hill in Lisbon, is more than just a castle. It's a window into Portugal's rich history. Built by the Moors in the mid-11th century, this castle has seen the rise and fall of empires. Its robust architecture, characterized by towering walls and tenacious battlements, whispers tales of legendary battles and royal intrigue. São Jorge Castle isn't just about the past, though. Its present is equally mesmerizing. The castle grounds are a tranquil haven, adorned with lush gardens and serene courtyards. And the view? Absolutely breathtaking. From the castle's ramparts, you can feast your eyes on a panoramic view of Lisbon, stretching out towards the gleaming Tagus River. The cityscape bathed in the golden hues of the setting sun is a sight to behold. The São Jorge Castle offers stunning views that you won't want to miss. So, when you're in Portugal, make sure this historic marvel is on your itinerary. And finally, at number one, we have the beautiful city of Lisbon. Imagine yourself strolling down the winding, cobbled streets as the scent of freshly baked pastel de nata fills the air. Lisbon is a city that effortlessly blends traditional heritage with striking modernism and progressive thinking. As Portugal's hilly, coastal capital city, Lisbon offers a captivating variety of experiences. From the historic Tram 28 to the majestic São Jorge Castle, every corner of this city tells a different tale. The vibrant nightlife in Bairro Alto the historic Belem district, the intricate design of the Azulejo tiles that adorn many of the city's buildings, all contribute to the unique charm of Lisbon. And let's not forget the food. 
Lisbon's gastronomy is a culinary journey in itself, offering mouth-watering seafood dishes and the famous Gingina cherry liqueur. A trip to Portugal wouldn't be complete without a visit to Lisbon. And there you have it, the top 10 things to do in Portugal. From the historical Belém Tower to the captivating Lisbon city, Portugal is a potpourri of cultural richness and scenic beauty. It's a destination that's got something for everyone, whether you're a history buff, a nature enthusiast, or a foodie. So next time you're planning a trip, keep Portugal on your radar. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more interesting facts.